From turkey to mashed potatoes, stuffing and pies, many of us are ending this Thanksgiving day with full stomachs and refrigerators. But how long do Thanksgiving leftovers really last? Good question. Kirsten Mitchell took that question to a food safety expert. Oh my God, this is wonderful. It's a meal that keeps on giving. I eat anything from stuffing, turkey, ham. How many days will you keep leftovers in your fridge for? I'll keep it. I mean, it really depends what it is, but like maybe like a week or something like that. In between three to five, depends on what it is for me. For the official guidance, we turn to Mandy Sedlak, a global food safety and public health director at Ecolab. The USDA recommends anywhere between three and four days based on how you handled all of the, the food when you prepared it. Were you washing your hands while you were preparing it, wiping down surfaces, preventing cross-contamination? After the food is prepared, the USDA says you shouldn't let it sit out for more than two hours. One hour if it's in an environment above 90 degrees, like a hot car. I'm the kind of person who, if the piece is out overnight, I will still eat it in the morning, so. <laughs> Multiple hours. Multiple hours, yeah. Bacteria can grow at temperatures between 40 and 140, typically. We is call that, that the, the danger, danger zone? zone. <laughs> yes, look at you, well done. Avoid the danger zone by promptly putting foods in the fridge or freezer. What kind of temperature should the foods be going into the fridge at? That's a great question. You can put them in as quickly as you want to, but you want want to encourage that cool down quicker. Put it in the fridge in smaller containers, loosely put the lid on and make sure that your refrigerator is not overloaded. If frozen, the USDA says leftovers will remain at best quality for up to six months depending on how they're stored. They should always though be reheated to 165 degrees and only reheated once to avoid foodborne illnesses. Once you have cooked something, then you cool it down, you freeze it, you reheat it. You've gone through that temperature danger zone quite a few times. Sedlak says typically bacteria doesn't change the taste, smell, or appearance of the food. If that's changed, it's a clear sign to toss. I'm a goofy person, so I'll taste it first and then... A taste test. Yeah, I'd taste it. I'd be like, oh, do that. And then I'm like, no, this ain't it. If it's still in there, it's still good. You give it the sniff test and then, you know, you're taking a gamble, but I've never gone wrong with it. If there is an odor, if there was mold, if there was something of that nature, that would definitely be a sign to not eat it. I think you'll probably not want to eat it. Right. <laughs> Your appetite might be turned. With photojournalist Jose Pasquale, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. Frozen leftovers should be thawed before cooking, but not on the counter. The only safe ways to thaw foods are in the refrigerator, in cold water, or in your microwave.